Welcome back, I'm Rob Lang and this is my game Clomper. You live inside a mechanical ladybird called a Clomper, which you can control by laying pipes to power machines with steam. The outside world is a hellscape that you explore from inside the Clomper, picking up resources and completing quests. If that sounds like fun, like and subscribe for more. Since my last devlog, I've moved my procedural world into the main game and begun rewriting multiplayer, because that's a brilliant idea. I left you last with a complete, if somewhat austere, infinite world generation using wave function collapse. I had built the new world generator in a separate project to speed up development. However, that meant the code had to make its way back into the bosom of the main project. But after just three hours work, ta-da! The map doesn't look nearly as interesting as before. The hills are all quite uniform, that's okay for now. The world itself will become more interesting when I expand the tileset used to generate it. As I move the clomper around the real world on the left, you can see the map changing on the right. It won't go this fast in the real game, of course. To help understand the map scale, I added a large gizmo to show its radius and a smaller gizmo for the periscope camera view distance. You can see that the world generates just beyond the map's radius. I'm pleased with how it's coming along, even with its temporary, brutalist ugliness. That completed, I needed to make a big decision. Do I keep multiplayer in Photon Pun 2, or rewrite for mirror networking? What I want is like Astroneer or Raft, one player hosts the game and their friends join in, hopefully via Steam. This can be done using Photon Pun 2, but it's really not designed for that. Photon Pun 2 is better for where you need a server to do player matchmaking. I don't need that. But then, rewriting multiplayer is a big job. It's the kind of big rewrite that makes people give up on their projects. I watched a lot of Dapper Dino's video tutorials and re-watched Nermin's devlogs where he implemented Mirror for Syncalypse, sorry, Polycalypse. Nermin's struggles are both inspirational and a warning. It's a lot of work. I moped for a short while, then decided to fix it. Photon, thank you and goodbye. I begun how I always begin with being organized. I used my regression test plan to make sure no feature was missed, made a new project in GitHub and got started. I have a tutorial on how to use GitHub up in the corner, but you don't need that because you're already using source control, aren't you? You're using source control, aren't you? If not, fix it. So far, I've got players spawning, pipes creating and sinking, and quest tubes appearing. I'm starting to understand how Mirror works, but the code I'm producing is worrisome. I'm doing the simplest thing that works to start with, and I'm hoping that patterns will emerge as I go. If you like determination, tap the like button. If you want to see if my sanity stays intact while I do it, hit subscribe. If you have any tips or hints on how to do networking, then please leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe. Bye bye.